Sorry I'm late. Oh. You started without me. Does anyone ever display the slightest sensitivity over the problems of a fellow individual? No. No. A resounding no. <laughs> Power dancer. Feel fat. The grant agreement you signed has strict safety provisions. This isn't your first violation. I think you forgot my bread. These folks will escort you to Oscorp Robotics, where you'll receive the latest in prosthetics. No charge. Well, the jerk store call. They're running out of you. I I'm trying to help you, Otto. Yeah? Well, I had sex with your wife. Hello? According to this, it took 10 hours. It eased into the water like an old man into a nice warm bath, no offense. Wait. Where are the arms? Oh, wow. So cool. I proclaim this the Summer of George! Put like in a movie, baby. I can do hard time for this one. And community service. To this city forever. You're casting your vote, remember what I've done. We are all safer now than we have ever been. George is getting upset! No one's putting a gun to your head. Do I, uh, scare you? My name is George. I'm unemployed and I live with my parents. Looks like Otto recorded messages for his crew. Believe it or not, George isn't at home. Please leave a message at the beep. I must be out or I'd pick up the phone. Where could I be? <laughs> Believe it or not, I'm not home. She invites me up at 12 o'clock at night for coffee, and I don't go up. No, thank you. I don't want coffee. It keeps me up. Too late for me to drink coffee. I said this to her. People this stupid shouldn't be allowed to live. But this is the wrong way, Martin. And if I have to tell you again, we're gonna take it outside and I'm gonna show you what it's like! You understand me? Shut your mouths or I'll shut them for you. And if you think I'm kidding, just try me. Try me! Because I would love it! Give me the anti-serum! Otto, you've worked your whole life to help people. Please. Well, I can't do it! I can't do it, I tell you! So I started to walk into the water. I won't lie to you, boys. I was terrified. But I pressed on. And as I made my way past the breakers, a strange calm came over me. I, I don't know if it was divine intervention or the kinship of all living things, but I tell you, Jerry, at that moment, I was a marine biologist. The sea was angry that day, my friends. Like an old man trying to send back soup in a deli. You're not out there. You can't be, because I am out there. And if I see you out there, there's not enough voltage in this world to electroshock me back into coherence. These pretzels are making me thirsty. All right, I'll tell you the truth. I'm not gay. My name's Buck Naked. I'm a porno <laughs> I don't like when a woman says make love to me. It's, it's intimidating. 
The last time a woman said that to me, I wound up apologizing to her. Double dipped? What, what, what are you talking about? So there I was. <laughs> and the marble rye hanging from the end of a fishing pole. <laughs> In closing, these stories have not been embellished because they need no embellishment. They are simply, horrifyingly, the story of my life as a short, stocky, slow-witted, bald man. <laughs>